probably have them in your home, corded window blinds, you know, the kind that have the hanging cords there, you use them to pull up and down or to open and close. Well, as Denver 7 investigator John Ferugia tells us, these blinds have been responsible for hundreds of deaths and injuries over the past three decades. And John, despite the danger, they are still being sold. Yeah, that's right, Ann. And now the Consumer Product Safety Commission is making an all-out effort to force manufacturers to stop producing them and to get rid of those being used in homes. Now, for one Longmont mother who says she almost lost her child in 2012, well, it's about time. There wasn't any furniture by any of the windows. Things were tied up and cleated, and I just didn't think that he could get to them, you know, and he, he could. Valerie Stubbs was juggling three children as she was getting them ready to go out. It was in her bedroom where she had corded window blinds that her three-year-old son almost died. And it happened in minutes. He pushed the chair all the way over to the wall, climbed up onto the arm to be able to reach the little tiny cord that wasn't extended. When I came up and found him, he was standing still on the chair with the cord wrapped around his torso all the way up to his neck. He was teetering on the chair, and she saved him. I think just as a mom, you can't imagine losing your kids. You do everything you can to, to protect them, and it's... Sometimes just not enough. Valerie has now replaced her window coverings with safe cordless blinds. But the corded products that have been deadly to children since the 1980s are still used in millions of homes, condominiums, and apartments. New parents are often never warned about the danger. I think the most important thing that they stress is, you know, car seat safety. We've got the locks on the kitchen cabinets and even um, like a medication lock box. But nobody mentions cords. But nobody mentioned that. And the only education I had was hearing another family's story. Now, the child in that other family didn't survive. And tonight at 10, the heartbreaking story of a mother who couldn't find her son in time. And you'll hear from the head of the Consumer Product Safety Commission, who is pressuring stores to stop selling corded blinds. I'm Denver 7 investigator John Ferrugia.